you're in the IMJ Gallery auction room. Um, we have about 20,000 square feet here in Beverly Hills, and this is the room in which we conduct the live auction. The auction starts at 1 o'clock. It's going to be uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon in Beijing. So we'll be getting people on the phone from all over the world. The primary focus of this company is Asian art, and the primary focus is Chinese art because that's the thing I have the greatest affinity for and the greatest understanding of. I studied anthropology, and uh, the dream gave me a great deal of knowledge and interest in primitive peoples all over the world, in different cultures and how they interact. And then, like I said, in my free time, I was in the library um, studying Chinese art. In 19, the end of 1965, I went in the Marine Corps, and they sent me to Vietnam. So I went to Vietnam and uh, I said, hey, this is a great place. Yeah, there was some stuff going on. The place was beautiful and I sort of fell in love with everything having to do with Asia. I started bringing my kids when they were about oh, four or five years old um, to show them things, to walk through the museums in uh, Taiwan, in Hong Kong, in China, Shanghai, Beijing all the different places so they could see things. Since this is a family business, we all grew up watching our father travel the world and buy and sell. And not everyone is always so keen to jump into the family business, but this is a pretty exciting one. Sometimes it can get a little uh, dysfunctional, but uh, we make it work, sort of see the goal of where we want to, where we want to go, what we want to do and you know, slowly but surely we plod, we plod through and we get through it. It's always a challenge. Um, they call me the octopus because my tentacles extend into everything. But I, it's, I'm at the point now I want to try and let go of some areas. And they each individually have their own fields of expertise and their own areas that they control in this company, which I don't step on at all. Things that come back to us that sometimes we sold two or three times. Those are interesting because, for example, there was a piece of porcelain that someone had bought from us for about $800 or $1,200 or something like that. We sold it again in the 90s for about two or $3,000. And we sold it again early this year for about $20,000. Well, I get 3250 dollars 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 I think the most exciting part of the job is when you, when you find something that you know is significant, is really valuable and is really special, and it's the game of trying to get that piece, either by buying it ourselves and putting it to auction or convincing that person to sell it. My favorite part of the auction process is twofold. One is getting the pieces in uh, because I would have this viewpoint that we're the temporary custodians of all these objects. The real favorite part is when I get up on the block, on the auction block, and I know that I've, I've taken part in the process of taking it from one owner into the hands of another owner where it's going to be cared for. The truth is I can remember things that I sold 30, 40 years ago more than I can remember people that I met 30, 40 years ago. 750. I have 700. Joey's better at 700. Fair one. So for 755. It's given it's given me a great deal of pleasure. It's kept me young. It's kept me active. Um, I mean, there's nothing like there's nothing like flying 16 hours from Los Angeles, landing in China, getting off the plane, and going to work. Take a night flight, get some sleep. Go to work.